So I'm going to be honest. I've never really been a big fan of preachers making a lot of jokes behind the pulpit during their sermons. I think a lot of times the joking and the lightheartedness takes away from the seriousness of the message. And I've been there's been times when I've just gotten frustrated with it. But there is one preacher that has pretty much always done an excellent job of incorporating bits of comedy within his sermons. And that's been Vody. He's always done it tastefully and in line with the topic so we don't get distracted. And I believe that I found the perfect example of this in a recent sermon that he preached at Founders back in January. So I want to go ahead and show that to you. And if anyone would like to watch the full sermon, the link will be in the description of this video. Oh, that we would take our little corner of the garden that seriously. Oh, that people would look at us as Christians and say, you know what? I hate them. I hate their Jesus. I hate everything they stand for. But one thing you can't take away from them. The joy that they take in serving their God through pursuing truth, beauty, and goodness in their little corner of the garden. And not just the joy, but the great satisfaction. So here's what's interesting about that man who wanted to know where he could find a dog who spoke English. The conversation turned very quickly to this same dominion mandate. And after the conversation turned very quickly to this same dominion mandate, we got to talk about why I would leave here and go there, and, and, and Africans ask me that all the time. They do, like, 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 why are you here? Well, we came here to help, you know, start this university. So you left America? Yes, we left America. Were you, were your, were your parents Zambia? No, my parents weren't Zambia. My family's been in America since the 1700s. They came as slaves because y'all sold us to the white man, but that's, that's, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day, right? And ultimately, it opened the door to have a conversation about those trees at the beginning of creation and that tree at the end of creation and that tree in the middle on which our Savior died. 